Today I'm going to recreate the BB-8 desert scene in Jakku using dottles for my iPhone. So first we're going to create the body of BB-8 and that's going to be a series of three ovals. So we're going to put a circle within a circle. We're going to move the inner circle to the edge so that it creates a um, kind of a rounded spherical effect. And now we can group that, so we would drag our finger over it, and then you would select group. Now I can copy that shape a couple times, uh, creating that nice spherical shape I was looking for. Let's adjust that a little bit, put a body underneath it. Now we're going to add a shadow underneath the body uh, that will move with the body. So we keep it black, we change the opacity, and we move the layering underneath it through the submenu. We go back to shapes and grab a circle, edit this, and we're going to create the head for BB-8. Size that. We'll speed this up a bit as we add the eyes to BB-8. Now we're going to group BB-8 as a single object, uh, but it looks like there's still some objects for the body that need to be combined first so that we can rotate them all together. So let's highlight them, combine them and now we'll combine each of the other parts. Putting BB-8 aside, we can start to focus on the desert. So let's grab the Freeform Shape tool under Shapes and start to draw the shape object. Let's get the color right. And that completes the baseline of the desert. And now we're gonna add the sky on top of that. It'll be blue, we'll, we'll change the opacity level, and then we'll set it to behind the desert. To make the sun we'll start with a star and then we will adjust the toggles on that um, so it make it a little more rounded, add a few more corners, uh, adjust the depth. So... And now we'll put the sun layer behind the desert layer. Now it's time to add our first effect. We're just gonna rotate the sun, give it a nice little spin effect. Just drag your finger back and forth. And we'll also add a move effect to the sun. Now you just slowly drag the sun upward, uh, give it the feeling like the sun is going across the sky. Going back to draw mode, I'm going to add some yellow chalk in order to produce some dust. I'll change the opacity to make it light and just make a nice broad strokes creating that desert feel. Now we're going to use the shape tool to add a little more detail, add some stripes to BB-8's head, and we'll copy that, add some coloring to it, just add a little more, a few touches to that with some squares. We've grouped the head and the eyes and everything as a single object, and we can add that to the shadow and then combine this all with the body as a single uh, character now. So we really have three different groups, the head, the body, and the shadow. And we're going to combine this into a single object now using the group method. And BB-8 is now ready for prime time to move across the desert. Let's resize them and we'll move them. We're now going to rotate BB-8's body. So we access BB-8 we hit the tornado icon to drill into it and tap on the body where we can bring up the effects and from the effects we can just rotate using our finger. We can go back and forth and do as many rotations as we want. Um, you don't need to do it perfectly. You can always multiply it with loops afterwards. And with this movement our animation is really starting to take shape.
BB-8 tends to bend his head forward and bob up and down as he's moving along. So we're going to add a rotate effect by drilling in and accessing the rotate effect to slightly tilt that head forward. And now we're also going to drill back in and access the head so we can move the head forward and around. Just to give it a little bit of character.